Alright guys, this is Skylar back again. This time I want to do a video on some of the gadgets that we have. And uh, especially the cell phone that we've all gotten to where we pretty much can't live without. Well, I haven't really mentioned it, but in some of my more recent videos, such as the ILBE and the Alice Pack that I've done, if you go back and look, you will notice that pretty much nothing requires electricity. The only thing that is in my pack that requires any sort of power is my flashlight. Well, I figured I can't really get away with that that nothing I can do about it uh, there is going to be a certain amount of power that's needed for some things I know a lot of you say people live without flashlights for years but that's not really what I'm talking about uh, some things in technology make life better all right uh, such as cell phones and that's arguable with a lot of people I am aware um, but technology is everywhere not just things that require power ferrocene rods is that is a type of technology that has progressed it is not recent year by any means but it is a technology. It has brought things about. Live fire, one of the things that you've seen me talk about many times, it is an amazing product and it, it really is, it makes things a lot easier for you out in the woods. Now, other things that aren't really necessary but improve life, such as my watch. Now this is the uh, Pathfinder, it, it's solar powered. It uh, atomic and everything, and yeah, it makes things a little bit easier on me, and that's why I have it. I also noticed that, you know, because of some of these things, some of these features that I've been able to give my wife, such as the uh, out pad, the blow up mattresses, things like that, all these new technologies and things that have come out, uh, I'm able to get my wife out, and we actually get outdoors sometimes. You know, that's that's one of the great things that technology has allowed for us to do. So. While I am trying to get away from technology from a survival standpoint, which you will see that I do promote that quite a bit, with the exception of this here and my wife's pump, I, I will be getting away from technology as a survival tool. It will be more of a tool for life, you know, and you know, living a you know a easier existence and things like that. So it will not be in there. Um, some of the things I've laughed at is the people, they call themselves the high-tech prepper and all these, I don't even know the names of some of the YouTube channels out there. And, I, and honestly, I don't know if they're any good, so I can't really bash them. But I never really thought a high-tech prepper was a way to go. But uh, anyway, that being said, I will try to show some things on the technology side, but also keep in mind that this is more for everyday living keeping you out hiking, keeping you out in the woods, keeping you camping, keeping you having fun. Not surviving, but living. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I will stop it here. And I just wanted to give my little rant up on my soapbox, whatever you want to call it. But uh, just wanted to show this is the direction that I will be going. And I'll be showing the difference, differences between technology for life and technology for survival. Anyway guys, thanks for watching so much. I'll be back with another video real soon.